right, so now we've reached the point of the evening where you have to suffer through some of my stuff. Um, yeah, again, my name is, uh, thank you. Thank you for all that. Um, like I said, uh, my producer and I dropped an album in September, uh, and I've been on the road ever since. Uh, it's been incredible, guys. Like, I, I was telling my driver as I, uh, as we came into town, um, that where I grew up is actually real similar to here. I grew up in the suburbs of Delaware, um, and it was awesome, and it was sometimes confusing, like all teenage years are, but I never dreamed uh, when I was growing up, when I was in high school, that I'd ever get to be on stages, uh, that I'd ever go to places uh, like James Madison University. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never dreamed that I'd be able to get on stage and that people would care about what I had to say. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't know if you guys know this feeling, but I'm guessing you do, uh, that your stories aren't always told. You know what I'm saying? Or like your lives aren't always heard. Uh, and so I make this music to tell our stories. Um, so the album's called Arrivals, and I hope you guys enjoy a couple songs I'm gonna do now. So yeah, so you know, so uh, I make this music because I realized, so I, I grew up young Chinese man in Delaware. Uh, I grew up listening to hip hop. You know, do, you, do any of you guys mess with hip hop? No. Yeah. Whew. If you don't, it's going to be very boring for you for the next 10 minutes. Uh, but I grew up right listening to like Nas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To Jay, listening to M, listening to, you know, Kanye. Yeah. in Brooklyn look like, you know what I'm saying? I had no idea what it was like to be a poor young white man in Detroit, but through their music, I got to experience a point of view and a lifestyle that wasn't my own. And that's what I love about music. So now I make this music uh, to tell our stories, right? Because I realized, and half of it is to empower our people to realize that our stories matter. Um, half of it is to share the joy, right? Like, like this, this next song is about my grandma. Do you, yeah. Do you guys got grandmas? Yeah. Not. You are Jesus. Oh, uh, no, like it, you know, like I love my grandma. She actually lived uh, in, or lives in Bethesda, Maryland. Yeah. Like um, so, I would come down to Virginia every holiday, uh, and the holidays to me growing up meant a visit to Grandma's Kitchen. Um, so we can play that next one. Uh, this song is off the album. It's called Grandma's Kitchen. Aww. 
That's my grandma in the middle. She's ignoring us. We don't cry and kiss to demonstrate love. But bragging about us, she'll talk your ear right off. Grandma showed me love's more than the words we say. I never spoke Chinese, still we communicate. Every time we ate, she go and throw my plate. Favorite dumpling things in the book of sesame. So stuck with Asian DVD dramas. Vacay to Beijing, she bought fake Prada. MSG products, Jasmine tea, my fancy. Calling me on the sleeve, this is my grandmama. I Make some noise for my grandma one time. Make some noise for your grandmas one time. Yo, they've been, yo, it's wild to me, dog. Every single Asian grandmother and grandfather has seen a war. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, like, I was walking around Korea three days ago, and I was looking, and I was just thinking, man, every old person I see around me has lived through a war. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody over the age of, like, 45 that I see around me remembers what it was like to have a dictator, like, in charge. You know what I'm saying? So, shout-outs to the grandparents, because they've been through a lot so that we can come through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
for you, so let's go come up, y'all go hang out, y'all go pee if you need to, y'all go do other things if you need to, I've got some CDs and stuff out there, we will be 